Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. I've had several requests to do a leather comparison of my Travelers Company Travelers notebooks. And so these are only the Travelers Company brand or the Midori brand. I have quite the collection here, so I thought I would share with you quickly the leather comparison so let's begin I will start off with the passport size because I only have three here and I, I think that would be probably the easiest thing to do right now so let's start off with the passport so the first one I purchased was this one right here this is the fifth edition or the fifth anniversary edition of the camel uh, as you can see right there that's when they were still branded as Midori. The Midori, um, the Midori brand turned into Traveler's Company and Traveler's Company has several Traveler's Factory stores in Tokyo. So there's a Traveler's Factory flagship store in Nakameguro, there's one at Tokyo Station and there's another one in Narita uh, Airport. So there's the camel. I unfortunately do not have the uh, regular, you know how they recently, not recently, but maybe a couple years ago, they released the camel color as part of their regular lineup. I don't have one from the regular lineup, so I cannot compare the leathers, uh, but that's what it looks like. It's very smooth, and it's, I know some people have said with the camel that it almost feels like velvety, but I don't get that at all with this one here, this fifth anniversary one. Uh, let's compare it actually. I'm going to compare it to the regular size one that I have. That's also camel And maybe we can see some of them. I don't know. I I think I'm not sure why but I I have them kind of lined up in a drawer and I have like every other one in this in the canvas or the cloth bag that it comes with but so this is the this one here is also the 5th anniversary edition and as you can see there the difference in color. I've used this one a lot more and that's why you can see with the patina with a different color variation it is a little bit darker. Um, I did purchase this used and so the person before me obviously used it a lot as well. Um, there's even, I think there's like a, a mark, there we go, there's a mark right here, he, the person ahead of me had a, a clip there, so um, it's definitely a lot shinier, you can see that it's not at all velvety, it has a beautiful patina with, you know, little dings and things like that, but that's what it looks like straight on, you can see all the scratches, uh, but it is definitely more on the slick and smooth side. And that's what it looks like close up with the stamp. I purchased this one brand new when I first started with the Traveler's Notebooks. So um, there is a difference in color because I, I was babying this one for quite some time. I, I was so afraid of using it because it was the 5th anniversary edition. I did get a water spot there. I had it in my bag and I'm not too sure how I got this mark but... Uh, that's what it looks like opened up. Let me open up this one here. I know I said I would start off with the passports, but I thought I would. it would be nice to kind of show you side-by-side -side comparison of the regular standard size and the passport size. They're both from the five-year anniversary edition, and uh, you can see this one was a lot more used. Um, I mean, I used this one too, but... This is definitely, like, you can see the shine there. Oh, that's so neat. <laughs> um, this one, not so much, but, I mean, it, it is shinier than some of my other passports, but look at the shine on that one. Can you see? Here. That is so neat. I found this, thankfully, I found this on, uh, I think it was Merukari, which is kind of like an eBay. Well, not really eBay because you don't really auction for it, but uh, it's kind of like a used online used uh, shop online and so there's that I will leave that here maybe how should I do it <laughs> maybe I'll leave it right here so that's the passport and the regular size camel I think I will if I remember to I will timestamp each 
uh, type of traveler's notebook. So if you just want to skip to, let's say, the regular brown, then I'll, I'll note that there. Uh, the next one I have, I think this is my most recent one. Actually, no, that's a lie. Um, this is not my most recent one, but this is one of the newer ones. This is the Narita Edition Passport Size in the black. And you can see it's definitely, you know, different compared to the ones that I've used. Like this is shinier, this is a brown one here, and this is more matte. You can see the difference there. I did get it embossed with mitts there, and it's very, um, it's all of the Traveler's Notebook, Traveler's Company Notebooks, I feel like they're just nice and slick. They're, they're not really textured or they're not... Uh, bumpy or anything like that, which I absolutely love. I love smooth leathers, uh, but yeah, it doesn't really scratch up easily. I've taken it out. I mean, I've used it for a bit, but I don't really see any huge scratches or dents or... I think though that when I did get this embossed, they probably conditioned it and then sent it back to me because it feels... Um, moisturized in a way like it feels very moist so that's what it looks like I don't see any um, fading of the white lettering at all yet but like I said it's one of the newer ones that I have and I haven't really taken it out in my backpack or anything like that so that's the black one let me show you the black regular size that I have that we can compare it to Let's see. So this is the regular standard size black that I have. You can see it almost feels like brand new actually. I I don't know what it is. I'm really more of a brown neutral type of person. So I don't I haven't really used this that much, but it's a lot darker, eh? This one right here. This is several years old, but it looks really new. Uh, it doesn't, the black leather, like I said, it do, I feel like it doesn't really scratch easily. I don't really notice. I mean, it probably dings up and things like that, but I don't really, you can see a little bit of like indentation from the elastic there. It could probably use a good um, treatment, lotion treatment. I. But you can see there that the difference in the leather, it's a lot lighter than the one that's... I th I'm, like I said, I think they have conditioned this prior to sending it back to me after they embossed it. Um, but yeah, this is the black. I just... I don't know what it is. I haven't really gotten really into it. I tried a couple of times to use it maybe for like Happy Mail, uh, Happy Mail Tracker and things like that, but I just... I just can't really, <laughs> I purchased it discounted, so I can't really, I don't feel like, you know, s selling it off to anybody else because I might want to use it again, or I'm not sure, more of in like a business setting uh, because it is very simple and black and it's matte and it's, you know, very classic. So that's the black. The brown here is quite old, several years old. This is back when it was still branded Midori there and this was gifted to me from my husband. Um, yeah, the inside, I feel with the older leathers, like the older covers, it's a lot more fuzzy inside. I wonder what the newer one looks like. Well, it's not... Yeah, I feel like the, the older ones have more nap to it. I'll show you my regular size brown one as well. You can see, uh, it's right here. It's more, you can see all the fuzz. <laughs> so this is the regular standard size brown and you can see the difference there. I've used this one a lot more than this one and it is definitely a lot darker than the Passport because I don't use the Passport size too much. Uh, but they're both branded Midori You can see the, the wonderful patina and shine in this one. It's so pretty. Like, it's so dark that you can't even see the stamps. I try and remember to stamp my traveler's notebooks whenever I visit the traveler's factory stores because I'm not close to them and it's 
and it's kind of like a memory or like a memento uh, so I try and stamp whenever I can but you can hardly see uh, the stamping because it's I've used this notebook so much but it's uh, it's my favorite favorite one there's some stamping in the back there I my sticker that my son put in there years ago is still there just as a side note I actually debated if uh, debated I wanted to get it personalized like this one here I did from Bum Kuchen or Bum Kuhin and I just I couldn't do it because I was so scared that I might lose it or it might get damaged and I have this huge attachment to this because it's my very first traveler's notebook so I think it will always remain plain unless maybe I can do something uh, if I bring it to superior labor or something I'm not sure but I think I will just leave it as is and just continue to use it I've never conditioned any of uh, my uh, traveler's notebooks and so this is just all by use as long as you use it the oils from your hands they kind of you know rub into it and it's just a so so nice so neat it's like different variations of brown but so there's the so there's the regular brown and the passport brown and that's what it looks like in comparison I'll leave them right here so I don't have any more passport sized. These ones are like, I guess, limited or, yeah, I guess you could say limited editions. Um, let's start off with this one right here. This is the other Narita Traveler's Notebook in the brown. And I've used it several times as well. Look at the patina on the leather, the natural leather from Bum Kuhin. And I also did do some stamping. The inside looks like that. It's very fuzzy. And that's the stamping on the back there. I don't see a huge difference, but of course there will be some variation. Uh, this is leather, so it's not like they're going to be exactly the same, um, but that's what it looks like. It's not as shiny as uh, this one here. You can see the difference in the shine. It's a little bit more matte because I haven't used it as much. So that's the Narita edition. I don't see any fading with the white uh, printing there. There are, of course, scratches and things like that, but... There's that. In terms of my other special brown ones, there's the Starbucks one. I think this is the most recent one. And this one I feel is so different. The leather is so different. It scratches up so easily. The inside isn't as fuzzy. It's, I feel like it's kind of like pressed in a way. I don't know. It's not as fuzzy as the older ones that I have. But this one scratches up so easily. My charm fell off. <laughs> so don't please don't mind that. But yeah, look look at the difference. Like there it's kind of like um it's almost like a pull-up effect where it lightens up where you bend it. Like it's a, it's I feel like it's brown, but it's like a huge uh it's a different type of leather <laughs> almost. There's the comparison. I don't even know. I don't even know how I got this. I had this in my backpack. Uh, I think last weekend or two weekends ago, and when I took it out, it was all <laughs> banged up like that. And I don't even know how that happened. So there's the difference in the browns. I feel this is more like closer to my olive in a way, but not really. It's like a totally different leather I feel like it's a totally different type of leather so you can see the different browns there I just feel like it's really different I don't know if this is because it's part of the Starbucks roastery edition uh, just as a note or side note if you are visiting Tokyo and you're visiting the flagship store in Nakameguro the Travelers Factory flagship store this shop is actually within walking distance probably like 10-15 minutes not even 15 minutes I don't think uh, I'm not sure how it is now 
I I've never actually been inside because there's always huge lineups uh, but then again that was many many months ago and the hype has probably died down so um, but yes if you do go when I did back in the day when it was very popular you would have to line up get your number and then come back when your number when it was your turn type of thing um, but that's the brown edition it's not really um, suede but you can kind of see that it's like I don't know how to explain it not fuzzy but yes it's very very different I feel this this leather it's very I also feel that it's very moist even though it looks very dry <laughs> does that make sense like it's so dry that it like I feel like it scratches up really easily but at the same time when I hold it in my hands it feels very moist I hope I'm making sense but I love this because it adds all these little scratches and these little indentations right there it's so different that I really really do enjoy using it even though I haven't used it that much it looks like I've used it forever eh? so there's the Starbucks version the other I'll put it up right here the other one I have is I this is actually my husband's and this is the blue edition the first blue edition so like the limited Pan Am edition and um, it almost looks black when I look at the viewfinder here but that's in comparison to the black this is the black here this is the blue this leather is definitely more like slick and smooth you can see there it got so bright in here all of a sudden so this is the blue standard and that's the stamp on the back with Traveler's Notebook. Oh, I just realized this one doesn't say Traveler's Company Japan. So this one here says Traveler's Company Japan made in Thailand and this one just says made in Thailand. Interesting. So this is the Pan Am edition and my husband was using it. Uh, he is no longer using it anymore. It's just kind of sitting nice and quiet in the drawer. But uh, that's what it looks like in the inside. You can see that he hasn't really touched it. Uh, he was using it to document the hiking and stuff that we used to do. <laughs> we don't do it anymore. We haven't done it in several... Hmm, at least three years we haven't uh, we haven't climbed up a mountain so not anything big anyways which is kind of sad because I really want to get back into it but anyways uh, this is the Pan Am edition the inside is fuzzy like the other ones um, but it is definitely slick and smooth it you can see kind of like some of the dings but it's not as noticeable as, let's say, the Starbucks one there. Um, I cannot compare it to the recent, not recent, but the newer blue edition. As you know how Traveler's Company has now added the blue edition or the blue color to their regular lineup. I don't have that version of it, so I cannot compare it to that. But this is definitely like more slick and smooth leather there is a bit of color variation right here on the spine um, I don't know if you notice it on camera but when I see it in person it's I see more of like the teal or like the greenish bits coming through I haven't conditioned it at all even though I don't use it much or my husband doesn't use it much um, yeah I haven't conditioned it it does seem a bit dry in the middle and it could probably use some TLC but at this time I haven't done anything with it. So there's the blue. And then I have two more left. I'll leave my last, I'll leave the, one of my favorites to the last. This is the train edition. Um, there's some gold, I don't know what you would call this, stamping on it or gold embossing on it. That's the stamp on the back. This one says Traveler's Company. I want to see, uh, let's see if this one says. Oh yeah, this one does say Traveler's Company Japan. 
So the Panem edition one, I guess, doesn't say it. Um, but anyways, this one scratches up very easily as well. And you can see right here in the middle, the spine is a really light color. This is, I think, actually, I don't even know if they advertise this as brown or camel. They just advertise it as the train edition or like the limited edition, Tokyo Station edition. And... Um, See the Tokyo Station here, and so I don't know if it's supposed to be a brown or if it's supposed to be a camel, but I feel like it's like a hybrid of the both of the two. Like inside, it looks very camel type of leather. Like if you compare it to my brown, it's really different. Um, it's not exactly brown, but it's not exactly camel. It's probably maybe if I had the newer camel edition, maybe I could probably compare it to that but it's like not it's kind of like in between <laughs> it's kind of like a gradation um yeah it's very hard to explain so there's the camel the tokyo train station and then the brown it's very different so that's the train edition it scratches up very very easily i think some people say it's kind of like velvety but i don't Feel that I just feel that it's more uh, it's not as slick it's uh, it is of course the smooth leather like there's no texture to it really um, but it does ding up very very easily it scratches up very easily you can see there <laughs> um, I don't even know how I got this huge gouge right here in the middle so that's the Tokyo train station or Tokyo station edition it's a very interesting color. I think I might take this out for autumn. Um, I don't know what it is. I like to switch things up once in a while. I'm, I know, if you know Jane, Jane, Jane the Crazy, I think it is on Instagram. She has hers and she uses hers so much that this gold foil is all gone. You can kind of see like the indentation of it, but the whole like foiling part is all, it's rubbed off. <laughs> it's so neat, neat to see. Um, I'm not scared at all that it's going to rub off. If it rubs off, then that's totally okay with me. I just haven't really gravitated towards this cover. I don't know what it is, but maybe I will try it again in the autumn. I tend to always gravitate towards my uh, brown here, and then my camel right here, and then, of course, my olive. So I think I will maybe bring this out again in the autumn. Lastly is the... Olive. I really, really like the olive. I am kicking myself for not getting extras for backup. Not backup, but I just really, really like it. And I don't know what it is. Um, it's not... I know some people when you... Like when I first got it, I felt like, what? Why, why is this called olive? It doesn't look olive to me. It looks just a regular brown. But if you have it side by side with a brown, it looks very olive. You can see there and especially at nighttime it's hard to see the true colors um, at nighttime I, I even sometimes feel like it looks very brown but when you put it side by side with other colors you can really see that it is olive <laughs> I feel like it's very moist in a way like it's very not wet but I don't know how to explain it it's very substantial um, the leather of course is smooth it's it dings up very easily, it scratches up very easily, but it is not... I'm really, I'm having a really hard time describing the olive leather because it scratches up easily. You can see all the little dings and scratches there. But at the same time, it has this like top layer of something. It reminds me more of this one right here. It dings up easily and it's very moist in a way. Like I didn't condition it, but the leather itself feels very wet or like very, it's very substantial. Like it doesn't feel dry at all, even though I haven't used this in probably months. Uh, it's, I don't know what it is. I just, it feels very luxurious. Uh, the inside isn't really like fuzzy with, compared to like the brown, the uh, older ones that I have. Where is it? This one right here. <clears throat> it's definitely not like that. I wonder if this one is like that. No, it's not. I think all the newer ones are more 
I don't know what it is, but it's not as it's not as fuzzy like this. But yes, this is one of my favorite ones. I I I'm so sorry. I just don't have words to really explain it. Uh, if you do have a chance to purchase the olive, I know some stores overseas may still have some in stock. I know here in Japan it's it's impossible. I cannot find any that uh, I cannot find any in the stores. Uh, it's been out for quite some time, like sold out for quite some time now. So if you do have a chance and uh, you are able to grab yourself one, I would suggest doing so if you like olive or if you like this type of color. I'm not a huge green person, but olive is really, really nice. I really, really enjoy this leather. It's, it's very floppy and uh, like I said, it's very substantial. I don't know what it is, but I'm really glad that they brought out this color. There's the stamping on the back there. Um, it's not really like a suede thing, but I do understand how people may say that because it feels like there's like a small thin layer of something on top, like um, like fuzz or something. But it's not, it's not really suede. -y. I don't know how to explain it. I'm sorry. If there is something in particular or something specific that you want me to show like close up, please do leave it in the comments down below. I might just compile them and make another video. It's really hard to do a comparison because I'm not really 100% sure what people want to see. I think for me, I just want to see the color comparison with um, all the different notebooks here. I'm going to try and pull them down uh, and I will do another I will do another pan through or look through of the notebooks, but uh, yes. don't forget to check the description down below. I will leave a timestamp for each specific leather or each specific traveler's notebook that I feature. I do not have the Ace Hotel edition and I do not have the To and From or To and Fro edition, so I cannot compare that. And I'm sorry, I also don't have the Camel and the Blue, the newer released ones, so I cannot compare those leathers. But um, there it is. I will do a pan through with the camera like this and you can check out the different leathers. I'll put them right here. Hopefully you can see that in one shot. <laughs> Let me pull this down a little bit more. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye. So I thought I would share with you the difference between like the patina leather, the ones that I've used often compared to the ones that I have not used often. So there is the black, the Pan Am blue, the regular brown and the fifth anniversary camel. So you can see the shine here. This one is probably the most because there was somebody that was using it prior to me. So you can see that shine there compared to, let's say, the blue here. It's very different. I think I even saw some comments on the, on the Facebook group asking how to get that shine, like if it's a polish or something. And it's just use. You just use it as much as you can. You take it with you, you carry it with you, you write notes in it and journal in it. <laughs> and it just develops over time. This one looks like that here. It's a shiny. This one is very shiny.